So I was thinking I'd like to get these uh, posts in the ground. Uh, today, while it's not raining, it's funny. I looked on the weather the other day, and you'd have thought that it was about to start pouring any moment. But it ain't. In fact, it's looking pretty nice. So I thought, well, I'll get these poles in the ground while it's not raining. Maybe get some of that cement packed in around them. Uh, who knows what else I could get done today. Sound you know, like somebody's running a sawmill over there. That may be my neighbor. He's got a stump grinder. I bet it makes a racket. I think I'll uh, pull a rambler out. Uh, it's a little misty. Might even be a little frozen. It, it got a little chilly. It got a little chilly last night. Do it. I'll set my camera over here on this boat. I'll let y'all sit over here. And I'll go over there and I'll fire up the ramble and get it out of the way. Okay, so now I'm going to go in the house and get me some screws and screwdriver gun and uh, a level. Set each one of them so that it's level straight up and down. And then uh, put some concrete around the base of them and then let that sit and dry today while I work on... Finish working on Butch's carburetor on his boat motor. And we got to go to town. Honey Baby is uh, putting her table runners and pictures and things that she made in a little local sales store. We have a store up here that sells local crafts and things. And I'm going to go do a video on that because they're opening for the season on Saturday. So I want to do a little video thing put up on Facebook to show, you know, the local people, hey, this is happening. Come on down, buy some stuff, <laughs> something like that. I'll be right back. I get that, uh, I get the level and the screwdriver gun and all that. Come back and we'll, uh, we'll talk some more and have some more fun here. Hold the joy. So what I've just done is I've leveled these two posts here on the end, uh, kind of braced against each other. Now this post looks crooked, but it's only because the retaining wall is a little crooked, which you would expect it to be um, because of the pressure of that gravel on it. That's what I was talking about the other day when I said by putting these posts here, I also give a little extra support to that retaining wall should it ever decide to slip. Um, now what I did on these ones, uh, this one here I can pull in because it will slide on the ground. This one here is hard to push that wedge end uphill. So what I did was I put a board under it so it would slide. I'm going to do the same thing on the next one. Then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to, I'm going to set the first one 
level. What I could do, and I may do, is get a little piece of board and run it over to that retaining wall and brace that against that. But uh, we'll see. But uh, first of all, let's see how we, how close we can get it uh, using another method, and then we'll kind of go from there.